Hi everyone. A few weeks ago, Linda Live Art Now here on YouTube posted a tutorial on her mixed media mosaics, which I absolutely love. They're just so gorgeous, and I decided to try my own. And I can tell you, it was a lot of fun. I don't remember enjoying a project this much in a long time. But just to tell you a little bit about how I made mine, these die cuts are from K and Company. I don't remember all of the paper lines that I used because I used up a lot of my scraps. But if anyone's interested, I can go back through my stacks and figure out what each one is. So if you want to know what something is, just message me or leave a comment and I'll get back to you. But other than that, these tiles were made using Rachel 113's Faux Cloisonne tutorial. Although I did have a bit of a problem with them. They certainly didn't turn out as nice as hers. <laughs> After stamping them, I thought I would take down the rough edges a bit with the heat gun and I got a little over enthusiastic as you can see. But they still came out looking fairly okay. They're made with black UT and perfect pearls. And I really enjoy making those too. They're so cool. And this little fairy and these wings I downloaded from Graphics Fairy blog. She has so much beautiful stuff that you can download for free. <clears throat> and I found that's a great place to go and find images. These little leaves I found at a thrift store and they were actually shower curtain hooks. They were on shower curtain hooks. And I just broke them off, colored them. I used them on a lot of projects. I really like them. And here's just a little butterfly charm. And in the middle we have a fairy. I went with the whole flying theme with butterflies and fairies and birds. And as I'm a big fan of fairies, I tend to use them a lot. <laughs> Alright, that's enough rambling for one video. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.